Okay, Don Long here with one of my wonderful clients, Stephanie Kittner. How's it going, Stephanie? Great. Good, good. All right, so we were here today at uh, Lifestyles Gym here in Jacksonville. Stephanie and her husband made the trip down so we can go through a, a quad workout. You know, we're in the off-season training at this point, uh, leading up to a you know, preparation for the Nationals in, in November. We're doing drop sets of 12, 12, 12 for our leg extensions. Um, for example, she'll do say 150, 140, 130. That'll be a com complete one set, that's 12, 12, 12. The next set will be, for example, 160, 150, 140. And then so on and so on. Each set we get heavier and heavier, but still uh, breaking it down upward. Um, and then of course, in between sets, she's stretching and squeezing the muscles. We always like to do that. The object, the, the object for uh, doing the 12, 12, 12 is the pile the muscles with tons of blood so by the time we get to the compound movements we able to break even more muscle fibers with the heavy weight coming on top of it so yeah Go. Hey. Oh. Her previous background is she did, you know, she's, she's actually done figure before. She's actually done women's physique last year. I saw her at the Nationals, you know, with some friends of mine that knew her, and, um, and she was doing the women's physique. And then, you know, through with, with, with uh, her, her and her friends kind of decided, or made a suggestion that she should probably think about doing bodybuilding. And, then, and that's when, you know, she contacted me, you know, and then uh, we moved forward, and it's been a good off season so far. She's put on some good weight. Um, her training is up, you know, and then uh, she's doing really good. And so we expect good things from her at the Nationals this year. A lot lighter, let's go. Take advantage of her. Stay in the seat. There you go. How many? How many? Let's go. Good. You got a habit now of, of rocking it, so we won't, we won't want that, okay? So take that habit out and, and plant yourself in the seat and let the legs do the work, okay? Otherwise, it's becoming like a seesaw effect. And yes, you know, a seesaw, but we're missing the beat a little bit, you see what I'm saying? Put yourself in there. Use the quads. Up, up. Down, there you go. Get it down. Use your quads. Use your quads. Use your quads. Pull yourself down. There you go. Right now. Stay in the seat. Use your quads. There you go. Just stay right from here. Get straight up. But still stretch. We went to squats where she um, did some of her best weight today, and then of course we want to keep climbing that weight up. But she did squats, and then we do four sets of that. Come on. Break the tissues. Break the tissues down. Squeeze back up. Traction deeper. Good. Right there. Every right time. Right there. Of course, with all our squat exercises, we you know normally go with a 20, 16, 12, 10. In most cases, that's what, that's the what we like volume, but still going heavy as possible as a kid. Right? So mass and condition at the same time. Good, step, good. step up a little bit. There you go. Good, that's good. Big squat, come back up. Good. There you go. There you go. 
light? Yeah. I think I'm gonna challenge it on these though. So we're going with a plate and a tin. I'm gonna challenge it. I can see that she can do it, you know. So then it's just not the line doing it, but she can do this, Jeff. You got this? Yes. Alright. Feel the first strap. Yeah, and feel the first rep and then go hard. You always want to feel that first rep, okay? There you go, you got it. Hands by with it. Lock them out. There you go. And from there, of course, we do leg, leg um, press, you know, and then um, same thing, 20, uh, our rep range on both squats and leg press are 20, 16, 12, 10, keeping high volume, but still trying to go as heavy as possible, getting the best, best of both worlds. Toes out just a little bit. There you go. Drive straight to the knees. There you go. stabilized and I can feel when I mean, you can feel the connection of muscle you more with it. Now granted a lot of people don't do it that way at all. I, I've always done it because when I come down I can feel exactly where how far I need to go without my legs giving out and not go right back up. Because you your, your hands up and you feel it. Yes. So it's, you know grabbing it and just feeling it but like I said not pushing it but just gonna just see just stabilizing it. You see what I'm saying? Uh, but just, just give it a try one time and if, if, if it feels uncomfortable. But it might make me feel better. It may make you feel better exactly. There you go. You got this. I got it. You got this. And drive. One. Drive. I got it. Two. Good. Three. Four. Five. Six. Hey. Right when the blood is fully in the muscle, then we finish up with um, three sets of leg, leg um, lunges, walking lunges. And then, um, of course, trying to increase the weight each, each set with that also. So that's kind of work in progress right now. But we... There you go. Good. A lot better. I would say stay with these 25s for now, three sets. And then once we see we got that, then you move it up. There you go. And blow it in. Blow it in. Go. There you go. Good. Good. Blow it in. Good. That's great. Good. And stretch. And stretch. Let's go. Good. Good. There you go. Work with it. And it's strong. Stretch. Good. Yeah, once you know you can do it, you can do it. You know, you came over. You say, I'm going to do it. 
and you did it, you know, whereas the first day you couldn't even do it, you know. And then we finish off with abductors. We like to, you know, I like with her especially, and a lot of my athletes, you know, the abductors can, can kind of set the tone for the quad. You get the nice, solid abduct abductors, then it can actually give an illusion of the quads being bigger. Turn the knees in, there you go. You got it. Squeeze, squeeze, good. Feel the momentum when it opens. Hit, stretch, there you go. I like to try to hit, you know, then you, then you make it. Do you like that to hit? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, Stephanie, you want to give us a rundown of how, you know, like a daily routine that you follow? Um, in the morning, the first thing I do is get up and eat. Eat, eat, eat. So I guess that's probably the biggest obstacle I've come across since I've come from figure. And then even into the women's physique, um, as much as Dawn has me eaten, um, after my first meal, I have to I have to rest. Um, but they certainly do fuel my my workouts. I'm much stronger than I was um, last year, and just since since March when I started, I actually started my off season diet um, on vacation, um, and it just takes a little while. And every time I turn around, he's feeding me more. So um, I look forward to stepping on stage this year doing the women's bodybuilding um, at the national level. Yeah, so we, we definitely, when she came to me, you know, we, you know, she was actually under eating, which honestly a lot of times people come to me in that fashion, I guess, to my standards anyway. So, and so we, you know, we, we started feeding her more. And in turn, though, she put on good weight without even losing her condition. And so, of course, with the, and I, because I laid out a, you know, a detailed training program that she's been following, which, you know, maybe slightly different than what she was used to. But, um, so that's, that's been, you know, I, I think helping with her, you know, quality of muscle and things like that. So things are really looking good. And um, she's weighing about 132, 133 right now. 134. Yeah, 134. And so, so we'll, we'll kind of dial it down all the way to, to the lightweight at 114. So she should be really tight at the division. Gotta do both. There you go. Abdominals and quad, just the motion of it. Okay, and then pressure on the pinky toes and find that cut right there. Good. All right, and good. Okay, Don Long here with one of my wonderful clients, Stephanie Kittner. How's it going, Stephanie? Great. Good, good. All right, so we were here today at uh, Lifestyles Gym here in Jacksonville. Stephanie and her husband made the trip down so we can go through a, a quad workout. You know, we're in the off-season training at this point, uh, leading up to, uh, you know, preparation for the Nationals in, in November. We're doing drop sets of 12-12-12 for our leg extensions. Um, for example, she would do, say, 150. 140, 130, that'll be a com complete one set. It's 12, 12, 12. The next set will be, for example, 160, 150, 140, and then so on and so on. Each set we get heavier and heavier, but still uh, breaking it down upward. Um, and then, of course, in between sets, she's stretching and squeezing the muscles. We always like to do that. The, ob the, the object for uh, doing the 12, 12, 12 is to pile the muscles with tons of blood, so by the time we get to the compound movements, we're able to break even more muscle fibers with the heavy weight coming on top of it. So, yeah. Go. Her previous background is she did, you know, she's, she's actually done 
figure before. She's actually done women's physique last year. I saw her at the Nationals, you know, with some friends of mine that knew her, and um, and she was doing the women's physique. And then, you know, through with 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 uh, her, her and her friends, kind of decided, I made a suggestion that she should probably think about doing bodybuilding. And then, and that's when you know she contacted me, you know, and then uh, we moved forward. And it's been a good off season so far. She's put on some good weight. Um, her training is up, you know, and then. Uh, She's doing really good, and so we expect good things from her at the Nationals this year. A lot lighter. on us go. Take advantage of her. Stay in the seat. There you go. How many? How many? Let's go. You got a habit now of, of rocking it, so we won't, we won't want that, okay? Uh, take that habit out and, and plant yourself in the seat and let the legs do the work, okay? Otherwise, it's becoming like a seesaw effect. And yes, you know, a seesaw, but we're missing the beat a little bit, you see what I'm saying? Put yourself in there. Use the quads. Up, up. Down. There you go. Get down. Use your quads. Use your quads. Use your quads. Pull yourself down. There you go. Right up. Stay in the seat. Use your quads. There you go. Just stay right from here. Get straight up. But still stretch. There you go. Just work with the weight. There you go. Squeeze up. Come on. Good. Let's go. Big, big, stay strong. Of course, we went to squats where she um, did some of her best weight today. And then, of course, we want to keep climbing that weight up, but she did squats, and then we do four sets of that. Down, squeeze back up. Fraction deeper. Good. Right there, every time. Right there. And of course, with all our squat exercises, we you know normally go with a 20, 16, 12, 10. In most cases, that's what that's the ball. We like volume, but still going heavy as possible as a kid. Right? So mass and condition at the same time. Get the step, yeah, step up a little bit. There you go. There you go. That's good. Squat, come back up. Good. There you go. There you go. I think I'm gonna challenge it on these though. So we're going with a plate and a tent. I'm gonna challenge it. I can see that she can do it, you know. So then she's not the line doing it, but she can do this. Now. You got this? Yes. Alright. Feel the first rep. Yeah, big yeah. And feel the first rep and then go hard. You always wanna feel that first rep, okay? There you go, you got it. Yeah, drive with it. Lock them out. There you go. Ah. Okay, come on. Rub. Rub. Down. Go ahead. Quarter. <laughs> There you go. Hey. Sit in there. Good job. Good job. You know, and from there, of course, we do leg, leg um, press, you know, 
And then um, same thing, 20, uh, our rep range on both squats and leg press are 20, 16, 12, 10, keeping high volume but still trying to go as heavy as possible, getting the best, best of both worlds. Toes out just a little bit. There you go. Rod But like I said, not pushing it, but just going to just see, just stabilizing. You see what I'm saying? Uh, but just, let's give it a try one time, and if, if, if it feels uncomfortable. But it might make me feel better. It may make you feel better, exactly. There you go. Feel it? You got this. I got it. You got this. And drive. One. Drive. I got it. Two. Good. When the blood is fully in the muscle, then we finish up with um, three sets of leg leg um, lunges, walking lunges, and then uh, of course trying to increase the weight each each set with that also. So that's kind of work in progress right now. But we there you go. good, a lot better. I would say stay with these 25s for now, three sets, and then once we see we got that, then you move it up. There you go. And blow it in. Blow it in. Go. There you go. Good. Good. Blow it in. Good. That's great. Good. And stretch. And stretch. Let's go. Good. Good. There you go. Work with it. Finish strong. Stretch. Good. You know, once you know you can do it, you can do it. You know. You came over. You said, "I'm going to do it," and you did it. You know. Whereas the first day, you couldn't even do it. You know. And then we finish off with adductors. We like to, you know, I like with her especially, and a lot of my athletes, you know, the adductors can, can kind of set the tone for the quad. You get a nice solid addu adductors, then it can actually give an illusion of the quads being bigger. Turn your knees in as you go. You got it. Squeeze, squeeze, good. Get the momentum when it opens. Hit, stretch, there you go. I like to try to hit. You know, they, they make it. Oh, you like that hit? Yeah. So, Stephen, you want to give us a rundown of how, you know, like a daily routine that you follow? 
Um, in the morning, the first thing I do is get up and eat. Eat, eat, eat. So I guess that's probably the biggest obstacle I've come across since I've come from figure and then even into the women's physique. Um, as much as Dawn has me eaten, um, after my first meal I have to I have to rest. Um, but they certainly do fuel my, my workouts. I'm much stronger than I was um, last year and just since since March when I started I actually started my off season diet um, on vacation. Um, and it just takes a little while and every time I turn around he's feeding me more so um, I look forward to stepping on stage this year doing the women's bodybuilding um, at the national level. Yeah so we, we definitely when she came to me you know we, you know she was actually under eating which honestly a lot of times people come to me in that fashion I guess to my standards anyway so and so we you know we we started feeding her more and in turn though she put on good weight without even losing her condition and so of course with the and I and of course I laid out a you know a detailed training program that she's been following which you know maybe slightly different than what she was used to but um, so that's that's been you know I, I think helping with her you know quality of muscle and things like that so things are really looking good and um, she's weighing about 132 133 right now 134. Yeah, 134, and so so we'll we'll kind of dial it down all the way to to the lightweight at 114. So she should be really tight at the division. Got to do both. There you go. And abdominals and quad. Just the motion of it. Pressure on the pinky toes and find that cut right there. Good. All right. And good. 